Abigail, who's three years old, and I was taking care of her a lot during the day at the time, and I had no idea where to bring her. And my lovely wife, Natalie, suggested to go to our local library. That was the beginning of a rejuvenation of my relationship with the library from when I was younger, and also a good place to hang out with the kid during the day. What program did you attend? I attended the Ready, Set, Kindergarten program. And with the other kids, she sat there, and I remember she was nervous sitting in the back, and she saw you, and you welcomed yourself to her. And surprisingly, she took to you immediately. I remember her being this very shy, beautiful girl that just opened up and is just so bright and wonderful, and I just got to see her transition. And I think that's basically where our relationship really began. And I never called her by the correct name. (laughs) Why do you call Hasina? Shazida. Because I like it. There you go. And that's okay. I just let Abigail call me whatever she's comfortable with. Do you want to tell us about the book that you wrote about me? I thought of making my own book, and I didn't know what the theme was going to be. And then I remembered when she brought me the superhero book. So then I decided to make her a superhero. And what was it called? Do you remember the title? Shavina the Super Librarian. See? And that was a very special gift, and that meant a lot to me, so thank you. Would you say the library made a difference in your life? Yes. As I was growing up, and I was around her age, it had a great effect on me, because I was lucky enough to have a library pretty much across the street from me. So that was my hangout spot after school. You know, my parents worked. So the library was always something that was a constant in my life and something that um, I gravitated to. And I think that's where I got my love and appreciation of books from. And it was great that because of my child, I was able to rekindle that love of the library and everything that it represented at the time. And going back and realizing how I was able to incorporate it into my daily life. And it ignited a a spark in my daughter for reading, which I don't think she would have gotten just from school or pre-K or television. It was something specific and something tangible. And the basic kindergarten program, I think, was critical to her progression, even now I can see how it helped her as a student now. She's in second grade now. She's seven years old. And she's been excelling and doing very well. She reads all the time. She reads three or four books at the same time. You can never read every single book in the world. Absolutely. You can try. Unless she's been alive for 2,000 years. (laughs) Maybe. That's true. You see where you started? You see that spark that you put in this child? (laughs) That's what I mean. Did she always give you good books? Yes. Did she make you feel like it was your library? Yes. Does she do her job well? Yes. She deserves to be a master librarian. Aw, thank you. See, that's what I'm talking about. You made my child feel like you were there specifically for her. Thank you. And you're very welcome. It's my job. 